Welcome to the transistor, and I will give, give the word to Tomáš Petra, who will start with the introduction. Good morning. Uh, first, I will shortly uh, present the program of four days because we will be uh, we will be together four days, and during four days we have to make some kind of performance cooperation in between filmmakers and on stage artists uh, like dancers. This is the group of Aira dancers. The coordinator is uh, Francisco Camacho, like the main choreographer. And we have four dancers, is Maria, Rafael, uh, Tiago and Yolanda. You will appear in 3D in all your dimensions. Normally in film you are flat and now you will be completely plastic. dancer as you know for dancers the basic characters will be presented now we have uh, a girl with Dracula this <laughs> way in Romania we also have a transformer a businessman yeah. Johanna is businessman with calculators <laughs> <laughs> this is alter ego of Tiago <laughs> Mariana and a transformer please transformer <laughs> and I'm the naked boy. <laughs> <laughs> and he's naked boy. You are like, no, no, no. So, uh, the virtual characters are ready for you, dancers are ready for you. You will choose uh, the, uh, your actors, virtual and real. And with the dancer and uh, virtual character, you will, this 3D model, 3D virtual model, you will animate here by the motion capture. We have some couple other guys. They, are, they are just hidden <laughs> because they, they are, are hidden. It's now. Michal Masha. He will help you with the with the motion capture. He is managing all this technical stuff around this special motion capture. Another guy is in behind. It's Michal Marianek, and Michal Marianek is our musician and song guy, and he will show you even how. The real-time movement influence the music. It means the musical creation will be completely connected to the motion capture and movement of the dance. Tomorrow we will shoot in the morning. We have two stereo pair camera sets. Uh, so we have to uh, make uh, four short stereoscopic films. And those films will be part of, uh, of show uh, which will take uh, place Friday evening. Hello, my name is Lucian. I'm still a student at the University of Arts, the Photography and Video Department. Uh, I have some basic experience in video editing, video shooting, film directing. I am a producer. <laughs> Actually, so um, and uh, the uh, shooting department manager. So I have some experience with 3D, also with uh, stereoscopy, but I'm not doing it myself. But and the name of the group? Well, uh, not yet decided. NYD. Uh, okay, okay. Name, name, name not yet decided. decided. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My, my name is Jan Burjanek. I become special effects supervisor and finally uh, now I'm so-called stereographer. And hopefully um, you become some kind of experts about the 3D or you will understand what is it about. But definitely you have to learn here that in your camera crew it's always good to have one stereographer. It's, it's a new thing. It's it's new person in camera crew, and it's usually can be combined with uh, with some some man who is responsible and focus, but it's not enough. You have to have a separate person. 
If somebody is talking about 3D, there are many synonyms like stereo, 3D stereo, stereoscopic, 3D projection, 3D cinema, everything is the same. But I propose, like you experts, you always add stereoscopic. Now, it's very popular due to James Cameron <laughs> and his new film. So it's something very popular, uh, but it's not new. In the photography, it appears uh, in the middle of uh, 19th century. Uh, 1836, first stereoscopic pictures appeared on photography. What's the principle? The principle is that we have, we have two eyes, our vision is stereoscopic and uh, our brain is uh, getting the information from two a little bit different points of view. 3D effect is, is not uh, become uh, matter of sensor anymore. It means that, that this sensor will not make 3D effect at all. It will be done in brain. Chen, Chen, it will, it's just very important that you have two pictures making 3D effect in your brain, Chen, you are responsible on your vision. In 3D cinema, we push your audience to do something very unnatural. We push them to focus on one place. It is your projection screen or, or monitor. But they were chancing com to completely different space. It means that, that if you are in front of your monitor, you are still focused on your picture on the monitor, but your 3D object is far away. So it's very unnatural. These cameras are the cameras we are going to use. Um, this is my impact in fixed position. We will have exactly the same, same conditions. In professional work, I use this kind of strange device, which has two filming cameras on beam splitter. There is a mirror. And it allows you to bring virtually cameras for a few millimeters distance, even if they have that big lenses. So one camera is this, one camera is that. It's quite a heavy device. 100 kilos. It has to be handled by, by crane and it's usually imperfect. It means that, that your cameras will not be perceived like completely aligned parallel. They will have many, many slight differences and these differences are usually corrected in post-production. This is left eye, this is right eye. And this is composition. Then you will take these pictures and finally you will have somebody in the first, first few frames who will take this in front of the screen and say, I am zero play. You can see differences of these pictures. And you can see here the overlapping red and green that they are not in the same row. It means that something bad happened and these two cameras were not mounted perfectly. It will happen. Don't worry. It happens everywhere. Then you will just take these pictures and, and just align them. You can see there is a disparity and I can measure how big is it in rate of this. If it is less than three, uh, more than, than 7% I'm in trouble. I can, you can see that this is red and, and green. This is red and green in different position. It means that these objects are uh, behind the screen. These objects are in front of the screen. But I can say, OK, how big is it? Is it less than 2% of the screen? If it is less than 2% of the screen, I will use it. You will have perfectly prepared footage. And we can check that on stereo projection. They will see if it is okay, if it's not blowing your, your, your uh, brain, and that's it. At the beginning of the performance, of the theater performance, we had a group of normal people. They will prefer the setup of the show, the setup of... Uh, it's a group of normal people. And after... On this very stage. And after, to each of them, something <laughs> will happen. And it's now 
on your teams what will happen. We are working together on a final performance, yes. mixing theater, dance and film in the stereoscopic vision.